gemstones that dwarf mentioned. an anvil on which the greatest dwarven smiths worked their art. Evildee's sons had made three mighty gifts for Loki, but my brother wanted more. So he went to their rivals, Sindri and Broca. He bet them they could not fashion three gifts greater still. If he won, he would keep the gifts. If he lost, they would take his head. But Loki had no intention of playing by the rules. He transformed himself into a gadfly and set about biting Broca in the hope of distracting him. But Broca did not flinch, and their work was a wonder. A boar of living metal who gave off light in the dark ran faster than any horse, Gullinbursti.
I should be cautious around here.
Help me with this. Oh, let's go.
You let me out of here, you bastard! You haven't got the stones to fight me, fairly. Come on! Let me out right now! I'll take you all on! Awful brave for one so tiny, ain't ya? Now save your breath. Looks like you'll need it. Let me out, I said! Uh, I might even let you walk away from this with your lives! I am calling help from this point! You're safe now. I suppose I should thank you. Would have killed them all myself, of course. Why do you think they caged me up? Scared of me, they were. <laughs> that is one explanation. In any case, um, case, you should find somewhere safer than here. If not for your sake, then for any giants you may slay. You make a fair point. Still, you help me out, and where I come from, we repay acts of kindness. Meet me in the Hodder Shelter. You know of it. Great big treasury hall, yes? I'll sort you out with something. Oh, and if you're looking to smash a few more deserving skulls, this lot kept talking about their leader. Mean bastard, I reckon. If I remember right, sounds like you'll find them in a small valley by the swamps east of Abolvat Milna. Perhaps I will seek out this leader of theirs. Then I shall look forward to hearing of your battle back at the Hodder Shelter. You make them bastards pay, eh? Good luck to you. Can't be. Those dwarves speaking at the same place.
my strength first.
About time you returned. Were you seen? No, sir. I was careful. Hmm? Silence. Did you hear that? Uh, hear what? Someone is coming, you idiot! Bountiful harvests and many little ones. They will attack on sight here. So what?
bad. Can't raise the sail yet.
many prison keys. All of them are here, it seems. I shouldn't touch every piece of paper. Prisoners weren't just lying around.
Seems nothing can contain these tricky inventors. But there's something on the other side. Maybe the dwarves hid something there. Ah, 
Mardu, I'd say. The risk is too great. Oh, Why are we here when the blood is so close? Green, green dust. F Good to see you on more solid ground. I won! Always nice to see you somewhere with less death in the air. Here, a token of thanks for saving my life. If you insist, I can put this to good use. The risk is too great. Why are you... The risk is too great. Oh, brought me gems, have you? Here, more gemstones for your collection. My no, thanks. Good, good. And now go and fetch me more. If only King Graysmar was still alive, we wouldn't be stuck down here. The risk is too... Oh, brought me gems, have you? I'll see what I can find for you. If I close my eyes, I can imagine I am back in my favorite tavern in Old Oh, sweet. Ah, good to see you again. Farewell. The risk is too great. Be welcome, Why are we here when Glod is so close? If I close my eyes, I can imagine I am back in my favorite tavern in Uldar. Oh, Welcome back, friend! What else can I do for you? Farewell. The finest? I forged better in my sleep. Yeah? Is that why you were snooping about in the ruins of the old workshop? Only because the Muspel stole everything I had, Dimwit.
can so many starving dwarves produce so? You're back! Yes! Go on. Buy something else. Goodbye for now. Glad you made it back. Ah! The reason I don't have lungs full of swamp muck. Here. It's not much, but I'd like you to have this. I know better than to refuse one as mighty as you. Thank you. How can so many starving dwarves produce so much shit? Asgard has abandoned us. Good to see you're getting along. So, Broker, do you accept your duty? Don't have much choice, do I? Last thing I need is a godly smiting up me ass. <laughs> Let this be the start of a beautiful new friendship. <sighs> to study the Salakar, I'll need the very best of tools. Too bad this workshop is lacking. Bugger off! I got more stuff here than you can wag a finger at. Doubt it. <gasps> <gasps> if you find something you don't know how to use, just ask. <laughs> I'll be giving you lessons on how to use your Bickering own... Bickering dwarves. How unusual. Asa, you return. What? You deal with a fire nymph? Not this again. What news do you bring? My stepmother is stubborn. I cannot push too hard, or she will grow suspicious. She has no interest in a trade. Interest, yes. But not yet the will. I don't understand. The Salakar is all but indestructible. You, on the other hand, are not. She assumes she'll catch me, kill me, and retrieve the Salakar. Time is on her side. Then I must strip her of this illusion. If I were to make a nuisance of myself... One that cannot be ignored. Sinmara prepares to lead my father's next major invasion. But if I were to disrupt her plans, it may force her to the bargaining table. Sounds risky to me. I once plotted and carried out the murder of Emir himself. What do I care of risk? Well, since you put it like that... Where must I strike? At Af Alvat Milna. My stepmother develops a strange army. At Jofursmida, she breeds beasts of war. And finally, there's Drekathorp, her supplies hub. I'll deal with all three. In the meantime, I shall return to Etri. I will send word once my stepmother has become more... amenable. I'll return when I'm done. And I will expect answers regarding the Salakar. Giants, but who will save us from the high one? To solve this task, we must put our minds together. Well, my mind, and whatever you call that thing between your ears. Ah, piss off. In all our time together, I never had no complaints from my brother. Mjolnir? It wasn't my fault! Everyone knows that. Everyone! Of course it wasn't. This is where the she-demon stores her precious supplies. Yes! 
sticks with which to fight. beasts.
Can't raise the sail. Let the sail out. Yeah,
This is where Sin Mara creates a mysterious army.
is for what you did to Freak. Now, Sinmara will go Then together, he and I will steal it back. Hopefully the dwarves have gained an understanding of the Sandakar's true use. My future may depend on it. Ragnarok is inevitable. To avoid it, impossible. But if there's one thing I know... Impossible is impossible. You're back. Sinmara's plans lie in ruins. I just hope you know what you're doing. Surely I should be asking that of you. Now, tell me, what does it do? I ain't got a clue. These light elves and they're sneaky. You've learned nothing? Whatever its use, the power it contains, it holds more than what you said. Such as? Well, for a start, there's a bloody dwarf in there. Anyone we know? Nah, and it's not important. Dwarf Hoogers don't carry much weight. Not even mine. So, what does it contain? All I know is that it's more than Malviger, Calder, and some dwarf no one cares about. Fine. In the stories, what was the actual point of the Salakars? Hoogers were what vitalized them, but it was the magic that gave them their purpose. And that magic was different to each one. Magic? You mean Seda? Nah, some elf shit no one knows anymore. Except Suter. That fire nymph? She sent word. And? Your plan worked! Shinmara's ready to barter, if it means getting you out of the way. Where? At the bridge leading to Feigarda. Light the beacon, and she'll come out with your lad. The power that the Salakar holds. It must not fall into Surtur's grasp. Uh, I'll reclaim it once Baldur is safe. Work, work, work. Uh. I've got a bad feeling about this. For once, we're the good part. Bardo Fraumas! Be welcome, friend.
What do you see? Retaking the Salakar won't be easy. I may have to release Loki and ask for his aid. His talent for theft is unmatched. What I have done to him. <laughs> Retaking the Salakar won't be easy. I may have to release Loki and ask for his aid. His talent for theft is unmatched. What I have done to him, and him to me. Once I have rescued Balda, we will be even. Loki will see that. I must announce my arrival. You bring that with your suitors! Give me what is mine. And I will hand over what is his. Come midway.
behind one of these doors. Locked cells. I must find the proper keys. Truly, Kelder. Truly. You dare to torture my own flesh and blood. If only I could bring you back from the dead and kill you all over again. written in Baldur's hand. No light, but only darkness visible. Revealing sights of woe. Realms of endless agony. This hopelessness, it is not the Baldur I know. No matter his pain and turmoil. This blood trail. Whoever was dragged here was badly wounded. Yet he was strong. It took at least four jailers to hold him. There, beyond that door lies the dark heart of the prison. And my son. <laughs> Key bearing a skull. That is what I need to access the chamber beyond. The High One brought low. Mistletoe, symbol of hope, renewal, but not for Baldur. We forced so many drafts down his gullet. His torment was 
quite beautiful. Blind fool. You never saw what was in front of you. Here is your child. His light gone before you even set foot here. And the rest of him? It now skulks in Helheim. Allow me to reunite you with your boy. No! <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> you were never worth my effort. I've seen dwarves with better stature. <laughs> Take care of it. Asgard. But you are an imposter. Heart as black as tar. Savage. Monstrous. You've locked that truth away. Built a code to act as its jailer. But the darkness cannot be kept hidden. It oozes out like pus from a wound. Poisoning everything it touches. That is what it means to be Odin the Deceiver. I have you now. You cluck and scratch like an old man.
What is it? What did you see? All my struggles mattered nothing in the end. My son was lost before it began. His premonition come to pass. Your son? Baldur. Harvey's son. You know what I mean. So Baldur met his fate, as was foretold. Ever you have sought to elude the looms of the Nornir, but we are all caught in their weave. No, I will not believe it. There is more to see yet. Why was I thrown from my dream? Perhaps it was not the vision that rejected you, but you who rejected the vision. Perhaps you are afraid of it. I fear nothing. I think you do. And until you recognize that fear, give in to it, embrace it, the vision will not return. Some walls cannot be overcome by potions alone. Tell me what I must do. This saga does not end here. It cannot. Meet me in the forest when darkness lays upon the land. There we shall see how fearless you truly are. These new visions of Odin trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svatalfheim hold some other meaning? Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire. Gather my thoughts for a moment. It's Walden, I tell you! Don't be thick, Bron! Everyone knows Odin leads the Wild Hunt. Eivor! Who leads the Wild Hunt? Odin. Why? I was explaining to him the way of Oscar Ape. This one wants to turn it into a pageant. Not a pageant, a parade! I was thinking some of us could dress up like gods, from both lands. Maybe you could lead it, Eivor. Oscorea isn't a celebration. It's when the veil between the worlds grows thin, and the dead will haunt us if we don't honor them. True. And they say the gods come to Midgard to hunt. Not just beasts, but men also. It wouldn't be wise to draw their attention. You are wise to be wary of the gods' wrath, Dane. <laughs> but it's not by hiding that you'll evade the wild hunt. I told you not to pester the locals, uncle. Have you been in the herds again? Don't patronize me, you little shit! And you will call me Brother Maxwell like everyone else! No one calls you that. I've seen you around planting your smoking pots everywhere. The whole village smells like a seer's hut. Those pots are placed where the fabric of the veil is weakest. Letting us perceive unseen threats before they are upon us! I'm sorry, Eivor. He shows up like this without warning. 
I told him he could stay with me while he's here. You're right to offer hospitality. And we should mark the Wild Hunt in some way. It's a source of fear for people of both faiths. And how do you think we should mark Oskorea, Eivor? With tests of skill and strength. Like Tyrus archery range. Show the hunt, they'll find no easy prey here. Svinta is setting up another event since her last tournament was so successful. Good. Tell her we'll use it, not to celebrate, but to prepare for the wild hunt. Tell her yourself. You're the one leading this preparation. Me? I didn't. And be sure to visit Gudmund's homage to the dead. Or didn't you notice the ship in the middle of the settlement? I noticed the ship. Good. May Odin's wisdom guide you. So no parade. I have a better job for you, Bronn. You'll be the judge of whose actions will impress the gods. You'll be the keeper of the tokens. I will be the best judge you have ever seen, Eivor. Go see Norvid about the tokens. Tell him I sent you, and I'll come find you later. My herbs let us see the invisible. But it's you, as leader, who must cross the veil and discover the mysteries of the Nether Realm. <sighs> I never said I was leading. Maybe I should have let Braun have his parade. Good day to you all, Wynn. Ah, good day, Eivor. I hear you've taken charge of the Fall Festival. <laughs> I look forward to, uh, what do you call it again? Oscorea. I wouldn't say I'm in charge, I just talk to people. <laughs> oh, don't be so modest. I'm sure you're playing a greater role than you realize. Um, by the way, you'll want to keep a close eye on Braun's uncle. He's been leaving flaming pots everywhere. I know. He's a strange one. He may even be mad, but I don't think there's evil in his heart. Oh, I, I'm not suggesting any malicious intent, but Braun did mention he once burnt down a church. <laughs> Accidentally, of course. Oh. And a short while ago, I saw him heading towards the edge of the forest with an armload of kindling. He'll set the forest ablight. Where can I find him? Follow the smoke. Novit, I'm glad to see you back. Really? Then why did you send Braun to confiscate all my tokens? I'm sorry, Novit. I should have asked you first. Braun was disappointed we're not having a parade, so... Relax, Eivor. I'm just having fun at your expense. Now, would you like to see my fall collection? Let's see what you have. I'm off. You well, friend. Always a pleasure. My love. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need.
painful. Good to see you. What do you have today? Have you got our loyalty rune? For next time. I'll see you later, friend. Go with your gods. Hi, Eivor! I brought something for you. I've never even seen this fish close up. You caught this? We've been looking for this fish for a long time. Thanks! I must take my leave. So long. Come back soon! Tira! We need an archery challenge to test our skills. This range tests a hunter's sense to know when to shoot and when not to shoot. When does a hunter not shoot? Imagine we're hunting together, you step on a branch, and I shoot without thinking. What do you think happens? I take your point. In this contest, archers score points for hitting the right targets and lose points for hitting the wrong ones. Seems straightforward. There's also a time limit to make it more challenging. You want to give it a shot? Hand me a bow. Start on my mark. Begin! Imagine the targets are your enemies! You can do better! I've seen you do better! Time with plenty of it. I think I could do better. We have a champion. Eivor, good to see you. Some of our people are anxious about the wild hunt. 
I want to raise their courage through contests of skill and bravery. I have the very thing! I want to recreate the chaos of battle! Our warriors will fight within the fog of war! You mean the smoke? Uh, did a monk bring those braciers? Yes, he said something about a veil I did not understand, but I find they add to the experience in surprising ways. How do you mean? I don't want to spoil it for you. Besides, it affects everyone differently. Would you like to give it a try? I'll give it a try. I won. Well done. But I think I'll make it more challenging. Come back when you're ready for another round. Hello, Arke. I didn't know you were fond of horses. I'd rather deal with a horse than an ass. I'm not here to trade barbs, Arke. I've come to see what you're preparing. A challenge, Eivor. A true test of equestrian skill. There'll be barriers to break, targets to hit, 
and a time limit. <laughs> I thought you said it would be a challenge. <laughs> it will require equal measures of skill, speed, and control. You think you have what it takes? Give me a moment to mount. Why so quiet, Ake? Where is the lash of your wit now? I am silenced by your show of skill. You may claim the full prize. These new visions of Odin trouble me. Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svartalfheim hold some other meaning? Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire. Gather my thoughts for a moment. See you soon. This pungent smoke is not thick, but it clouds the hooker more than it obscures sight. If your thoughts grow cloudy, look deeper within and seek clarity through your inner eye. I didn't think I spoke those thoughts aloud. I know what it's like to stand on the threshold of another world. I think you grow drunk on your own fumes. Do you think it mere chance that brought you here? No. No near. Leave little to chance. 
Then open your mind to the worlds beyond our own, as the veil that hides them is pulled away. What would you have me see? It's not about my desires, but yours. What do you seek? I seek to protect my people from the wild hunt. You'll need to cross the veil, face your greatest fear, meet your own worst enemy. Greatest fear? It'll take more than herb-induced visions to terrify me. Spirits of the dead? Cross the veil once more, come what may. There is a force here, invisible. wasn't so mad after all. Stand aside, spirit. I come for the rune. I do not wish to add to your grief. This spirit could be my twin. There is murder in its eyes. Only one Eivor will walk away. It's true. We can be our own worst enemy. But I feel no joy at having vanquished it. That fight was more tiring than I thought. I grow weak. Visions of Odin trouble me. 
Am I alone in seeing them? Or do the tales of Svatalfheim hold some other meaning? Perhaps I should warm my bones by the fire. Gather my thoughts for a moment. Hey, my boy. You do enjoy building your ships, Gudmund, even if they're not going anywhere. Hmm. I see people have been carving the names of the dead onto the hall. Hake, Asa, Aslog. These are names I haven't heard since my youth. We lost many on that evil night. Sven. A big man with a fine touch. He left his mark on many of us. Dag, a fighter until the end. I wouldn't call him a good man, but his bravery could not be denied. There are my parents. Rasta. She traded her life for a child. I will make sure it was worth it. Varen, he gave his life to the Raven Clan. May the gods honor his sacrifice. That is for the Old Father to judge. Strange. This name has no message to honor it. Kaf. It's not a name I know. Goodman. Do you know someone named Kaf? No. It's the one name not carved into the wood, only scribbled in charcoal. Did you see who wrote it? Maybe. Someone I didn't know came by earlier. Limping and staggering, like he was on his last legs. Didn't see his face. And you didn't speak to him? He didn't speak to me. He went that way, if you're interested. I don't like unanswered questions so close to home. If the stranger was lame, he couldn't have gotten far. Zira, did you see a man limp past? I did! He was heading north of the longhouse.
He placed his hand here. Maybe leaned on it for support. This may be the end to this stranger's saga, unless dead men can tell tales. This may be the end to this stranger's saga, unless dead men can tell tales. <gasps> this is our man. His gnarled fingers are black with cold dust. He wrote something down before he passed. I alone saw the attack from across the West River. If not for my warning, they'd all be dead. He was a lookout on the West River. There must be some place with a better view. See you, old friend. There is smoke from a small fire. Is that where the poor wretch made camp? <coughs> this was no campfire. The monk has been here. The air is perfumed. see the unseen. Perhaps it will reveal something of the dead man's fate. fire.
near your ship. What was left of him? The gods have burned you with your own fire. Traitor. I've seen a broken arm ring like this once before. When Styrbjörn exiled a man from Fornburg.
Uba would have been furious. He probably blamed Kaf for the attack and left him behind when the great army moved on. I crossed the veil with the help of your herbs. I saw through Calf's eyes and learned his tale. Calf saved his people and will be honored. What do you see when you look into the veil? To see what I see would drive you mad. Ask not about my visions, and I will not ask after yours. Calf saved his settlement. Facit Dominus Nostra Sapiens Nubus, vide collecta supra in terra atheres, et locustus est a rune of protection paid in blood drawn upon our long house. Our wrong has been righted, giving peace to our dead. You have really risen to the occasion, Eivor. Come claim your full reward. I've done what I can to prepare for this day. It is now for the gods to judge, and for the fates to decide. Hello, Novit. Eivor, how can I help you? Let's see what you have. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. Always a pleasure. The Grim Rider approaches! All falls into place. The pattern comes into focus. Does it now? A rune of protection writ large on the Longhouse. The restless put to rest. And a people prepared for the hunt. I think you're less mad than you let on, Monk. But I have to disappoint you. There'll be no hunt. Will there not? Even now, powerful forces gather. We're not out of the woods yet! The gods are angry! I'll never doubt you again, Uncle! Did we do something wrong? What does this mean? The wild hunt. Everyone, listen. The Wild Hunt will not come for us this night. How do you know that? Because I've seen the courage and skill of our people. 
We've come together, Norse and Saxon alike, to meet great challenges. And because I know that when people are united and strong, they earn the respect of the gods! The gods are with us. there. What do you have today? Sturdy and yet lightweight. Perfect for your line of work. Thank you. I am sure I will see you back again soon. I have to go. See you soon. See you later. You're a good boy. 